guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Felicia Ebony Calls Me Flick. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm having a play with the new P. Louise birthday palette. Yes, it's huge. Yes, it's one of the ones with the drawers. Um, yeah, having a play with that. If you want to see how I got on with the palette, then keep on watching. Okay, so I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with this palette. Obviously, it is a neutrals palette. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to wing it and see what happens, to be honest. Um, so, obviously, I'm not going to hold it up because it's absolutely huge. Um, so, I will try and get a picture of it online and put a picture up of the shades I'm going to use. So, the first one I'm going in with is Stop For Nothing, which I believe is the darkest one in the entire palette. And I'm gonna place that on the outer bit and bring it through my crease. As always, the formula is great. It's really, really pigmented. I cannot fault them for their formula. It is really good. Let's buff that a little bit around the edge. Tiny, tiny bit more around here. And then I'm going to take the shade. Birthday mm. blessing. Half on, half off. very lightly adding that in otherwise I'm going to get all the way up to my brow and I'm still going to be on like the medium shades I don't want to go too overboard with it now Then I'm going to take just a page. the shades. Um, I'm going to take the shade Forever Loyal. Oh, fluffy brush. So this is going to be really um, like dispersed. Um, it's not going to, well, actually I say that now it's on and blended but you can see it a bit more. I'm just going to go back through those shades that I've used and just
and then I'm gonna cut the crease. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna half cut it. I was considering keeping this all matte, but I don't think it is a good idea because there are so many pretty shimmers in this palette. So I feel like we should use one of those instead. Oh, that one's oh, so pretty, and there's some like pinky toned ones as well. Why? Ooh, that one's pretty. It's like a glitter. I feel like I'm. Oh, you're not going to see it, are you? No, because I can't. Mm. I'm going to use the gold, the light, lighter gold one, and then um, I'm going to use a lighter one on the bottom tray. Now, best way to use these. I saw in a video the other day someone using a fluffier brush to apply these and I was like oh okay that's a different approach to take um so I am I'm gonna use one of my packing brushes because that seems to pick it up all right Dig my brush into the pan a bit. There we go. Thing is, these are a really almost putty like formula, so your finger is always going to be the best way. Right, let's just see that. Just look at that. See what I mean? Like, can you even see that? Probably not. I can't get these lights right. See, now you can barely see it because I've turned my ring light all the way down. But yeah, that's the. There we go. What I am going to do is I'm going to use my silicone one to get some on there so I can get like right around that edge. Now I'm going to go through those darker shades, so stop for nothing, and I'll take a bit of birthday blessing as well um, on this outer bit, just to blend it in with that pretty gold shade a bit. I won't put any more the brush that I use, it falls this way. Just bring it in towards my lash line a bit. Kind of swoop it. There we go. So that's how that's looking at the moment. Where's my little inner corner brush? Is it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to take this shade. This is the shade Pure Soul. The gold that I used on my lid is Let's Celebrate. Okay, I'm going to go off and do the other eye and my base and stuff and then we'll come back for under eye. Although I have a feeling it's going to be incredibly simple and probably just those matte shades that I used. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. Right, we are back to do under eye. 
So really easy, I use the first two shades I use, Stop For Nothing and Birthday Blessing, or B Day Blessing. So I'm taking Stop For Nothing on this little pointed brush and just kind of dragging that kind of just under halfway across and making sure it kind of blends and connects nicely with that outside edge so it is a really neat um, shape. And then I'm taking Birthday Blessing on this little brush and dragging that on the other part and then also underneath the blend that shade out of it. And again, just bringing it around. You not see me very well. I'm doing very well with this, am I? Yeah. What I will do is take my inner corner shade and I'll bring it underneath just a little bit. What I do with that brush for that is over here. So yeah, I used the shade The Purest Soul, which is in the pull-out tray section. So I'm going to take a bit more of that. down a little bit there just to really kind of open up the eye a bit more there we go okay I'm going to go off I'm going to do my lashes I'm going to do my lips so I'm probably going to do something with my hair or I kind of like it in a messy ponytail um, today I don't know but yeah I will be back for final look and final thoughts hi guys I am back this is the final look what do we think um, do you know what actually I really do like the eyes um, yeah pretty I did use my W7 where is it here it is, my Metal Flash liner, the gold one. Uh, this is Glitzy, I think, is this one? Uh, I'm gonna need to get another one soon because I'm running out. Um, but yeah, I did use that just to go around the cut creases to give it a little bit of extra something, something. Um, but yeah, do you know what? The palette performed as I thought it would. I cannot fault the P. Louise formula, it's always great. The only thing I will say is the shimmers. There's a couple of different shimmer formulas in there and I noticed that with the two that I used. Um, but when I was swatching them, I noticed there are a couple of different formulas. But the putty ones especially, you, it's picking whichever method of application works best for you. Uh, for me, it's either using my finger or my silicone applicator for those ones. But then the one that I used on my inner corner was a drier formula, so that worked really well on the brush. Um, but yeah, the mattes performed great. The shimmers look lovely. Um, yeah, it's all in all, it's another good palette from Pretty Ways. Uh, the lashes are the New Heights ones that I got. Um, do you know what? I've not actually seen these ones listed on the website or the TikTok shop. I've seen all the other ones in this collection, but not these ones. Um, and I, I do really like these. These have got enough length and volume in them for me. Um, so I, I want to get another pair if possible. Um, but yeah, overall, I, again, yeah, I like how it all looks. I think it looks really pretty. And yeah, what do you think? Let me know. Uh, have you got this palette? Did you get it in a budget box? Did you purchase it? Um, let me know what you think. And yeah, happy days as always. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please not forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, all of that good stuff because it really does help uh, the algorithm for me. Um, and yeah, socials as always are up here. They're also linked down below. I believe this palette is live. I'm sure it, they... It went on the website last month. Um, so, yeah, I will link what I can. Um, and, yeah, that is that is me done. 
Uh, I am going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.